my name is Carl Verheyen, and I'm sitting over here at LSL Instruments, and I'm playing my first ever signature guitar, the first signature guitar model that I've had in my, I think it's been 47 years of playing the guitar every day. Um, I've been in, approached by many companies to, to, to make a signature model over the years, and some of them big and some of them small, but I've never found one company that would really like do what I really want to do, you know, which is make the, the perfect guitar for me. Um, a lot of guys want you to just take one of their models and become the poster boy for it, but that doesn't really, that doesn't really fly. I first heard about LSL about three years ago. I was in a shop and uh, here in Southern California, a little shop called California Vintage Guitars. I was playing some instruments and I found a Telecaster in there that was just outstanding. And then a buddy of mine said, hey, I know these guys making these amazing uh, Tele style guitars. They're really great. So I went over and checked them out and uh, I was pretty amazed at how wonderful it all was and how the factory worked and how the attention to detail, everything handmade, hand shaved, um, pickups hand wound, everything exactly like you would hope it to be done. So um, fast forward a few years later and um, we started talking about making me a guitar. Um, I've got some vintage guitars that are this style, and they just they just sound great, and they're just so well broken in, so well worn. The way the the way your thumb comes over the top of the neck and under the bottom, the, what they call the apex, uh, just it, it just feels like home base to me. And most new instruments don't have that feeling. So we started working on this guitar, and one of the first things that I I noticed was that all my good sounding instruments were lightweight. And uh, my favorites are alderwood and lightweight. So that's what we started out with, is let's find the lightest alderwood that would be really toneful. I don't know why, but my light guitars always sound better than the heavier models. So with that in mind, then we started looking at neck shapes, and I've got a 1961 guitar that just has the most comfortable neck. And everybody that ever plays it goes, man, this is absolutely fantastic and so we, we shaped this neck exactly like that. The fret height I always like to use is 6105 so when we found that uh, we put that in and all of a sudden the thing just started to come to the party and feel great. Um, I'm a big fan of the vintage style tremolo and um, I tried a few tremolos before I came to this one what I like to do is my setup has to do with this. I, I take my G string up a minor third. So I pull all the way up on the bar and I get a G, uh, uh, an A sharp or a B flat. I, my B string goes up to a C sharp. My E string. And the way I balance things out, the guitar stays perfectly in tune. I can do all kinds of crazy sounds. and. I stay perfectly in tune, so I needed that tremolo and that spring setup and that claw setup to work for me. Um, next, we got into pickups, and uh, we, you know, what what I look for in pickups, I like the 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 neck pickup here to be. Woodsy and 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 warm, right? The next, when I switch to the next set here, which is these two, I more prefer more of a a warmer set. Go to the middle setting, and I prefer like a glassier tone. Go to this back one, these two, I mean this pair here, I like a, a, a cluckier kind of a country tone. And then go to the very back and I prefer like that uh, almost telly type tone. And you know, more of a country type of sound. And then all those sounds have to work with my distortion. 
you know so when I switch amps to distortion amps or when I use pedals all those sounds have to have the same characteristics the middle needs to be glassy the neck needs to be big fat warm and woodsy uh, the, the the first split needs to be mellow this needs to be kind of clucky you know and uh, so with this guitar I think I've achieved all those things plus what we're doing is we're making each one of these to be uh, you know feather light I, I'm, I'm real adamant about the, the weight of the instrument. So, all in all, I think I've got what I'm calling the, the dream guitar for me. Every part, everything, top notch.